Drop it, well. Ooh. Basically, I'm an investor and she buys shoes. You better stop lying about my name. Show us your contact. Oh, my God. God. I'm about to move in a second. Drew, do not do that. She's flipping her hair in my face, Andy. Oh. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today is the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 reunion trailer day. And our girls showed up looking real cozy in their island gal couture with just a hint of ratchet to face off in a sit down that has been a long time coming. I always hate reunions because I hate arguing with people. And this year, especially because it was a lot of people that were just coming for my neck. It makes my stomach turn. Yes, Bravo just officially released the trailer for the season 14 reunion. And um, I've got a lot to say, cha, before I finally chime in on some messy gossip going around about a particular cast member potentially being on her last leg. But, we should watch the RHOA trailer first, and then we'll chat. Next time on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Drop it, well, Ooh. basically I'm an investor and she buys shirts. You, oh you, you better stop lying about my name. Show us your contact. Your contact. <laughs> what can you tell me about your new boo? He's like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I have cash up from people wanting to send me s tapes of you. I would love to see that. Oh. Oh. All right, no more TPT. Two pump time. Oh, two oh. pump time. <laughs> Candy and I both live rent free in her head. Shots fired. You've had your breasts done, your booty. My booty, bitch, you crazy. We've all this had all natural, done. honey. Squats, not shots, honey. You talking about me every week on your show, and I get it, because I'm good clickbait. You think I need I you for clickbait? Oh. oh. Everything about you is fake, Marlo. Your name is not even your real name, Latoya Hutchinson. It seems like you suffered some emotional abuse. They want to call me whores and prostitutes, but can't bring you one guy them. She's crying. She has tears. There's okay. tears coming out. That's crying. Oh, that's crying. We just coordinated, you know? <laughs> Diana Ross, the Supreme. I'm the lead, those are my backups. <laughs> Ralph, I'm looking to get a massage after the reunion. You know anybody I can call? <laughs> In your earlier thirsty years, we went to Africa. And I came with all my Birkins. No, you was a little dehydrated at the time. Drew, do not do that. She's flipping her hair in my face, Andy. Come on, I'm about um, to move in a second. Be a lady like I am. Don't you talk call about it, me I don't not have a mind of my own. You've only been able to accomplish mediocrity at best. No. No. That is so this is so annoying that a person that I tried to help multiple times know. will get on a platform millions of people and say I don't help people. Wow. The pressure is getting worse. <laughs> by now, we all know that the theme of the reunion is heavily influenced by the major all-cast trip of the season. And rightfully so, since it's on these girls' trips that things usually hit the fan and end the season with a huge bang. I am not Michelle Obama. You go low, I'm going low with you. Because I've already done this before with Marlo. And this year, that ritual was exactly the same, making the theme of the season 14 reunion inspired by the vibes of Tropical Island. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so, so, so happy. All right, okay, bye bitch. <laughs> now we have to get into these looks. The peach holders finessed shades of Georgia's famous fruit, the peach, and they collectively ate. The vibes are fresh with some of the most interesting silhouettes we've seen to this day. To this day! <laughs> they're giving us asymmetry, they're giving us sultry cutouts, they're giving us sculptural details, and brilliant over-the-top long-ass trains with ruffled tool accents. And I cannot say one bad thing about either one of these ladies. 
and I just feel like they all ate. Now, my only request for them is for them to go ahead and release the photos and maybe even the footage of Magneta and Fatuma because I just want to see something. Play with that, oh don't play with me. <laughs> no, for real, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I really just cannot pick a favorite. They all look so very well. Girl, you make me so proud. Especially with the backdrop of this set behind them. It's just so cute to me. So comment right now and tell me who you guys think deserves the crown for being the best dressed at the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 reunion. And you definitely got to tell me why. I do not know how Bravo always does it, but they are always going to pull three parts out of this reunion footage. But the good news is we do not have to wait long with part one of the RHOA reunion premiering Sunday, September 11th at 8 p.m. on Bravo. Part two of the reunion airs on Sunday, September 18th, and part three airs on Sunday, September 25th. And I'm just hoping that they finally listen to our feedback this time. And I pray that they will be able to slice and dice and add some <laughs> special effects and cutting and pasting or whatever they need to do to make this thing worth watching. Here I Y'all, it was the seating chart for me. Like, this seating chart is completely throwing me off right now. We got Marlo and Sheree sitting in the throne chairs? Has Sheree ever sat in the throne chair right beside Andy? I mean, it has been so many seasons. I can't remember. Like, if y'all remember, let me know. But she's she's been looking good and, and uh, she might finish Chateau Sheree. I mean, um, Shiva Sheree. But I don't, I don't know. Yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee and I was gonna get an employee of the month and that's a period. Honestly, I can accept every other position except this seat right here all the way on the end. May I ask who picked these seating arrangements for this reunion? No, because like, why are they playing our girl Candy like that? Because this is the second season in a row that Candy has found herself all the way on the end, despite her high-ranking status with the network. I don't need this anymore. Is this tea? Or is it just me? No, because can we stop acting like the seating arrangements at the reunions don't tell us everything we need to know? Mm. B-F-F-R. What did that spell? Be fucking for real. We all know by now the girls who are invited to take that coveted seat directly beside the host are basically guaranteed to receive an offer to return to the show on the next season. I'm comfortable. I'm sitting back pretty and waiting. And, and it usually is the most accurate representation of how happy the bosses are about a housewife and their performance on the season. Trip T, and I've been talking about my issues and concerns about this year's seating arrangement for a while now. And some of my bench watchers are still feeling like it's not that big of a deal. So in a minute, I'll share with you guys why I think that reunion seating charts definitely matter. Wow, Candy, good night. This is your last season, sorry. Oh! I don't know if she did enough this season. Woo, okay, Casey! If you're at the end of the couch and you've been on for many, many seasons, that's probably a sign that they want to switch the show up. What are you about to do? <laughs> what are you, like, what are you about to do? Listen, it, it's no disrespect to the individual cast member, but there comes a point where I think the audience and the producers and the network have, say to themselves, the story has been told. You can stop saying that shit. I know that. From what I understand, the network definitely looks at reunions as one final chance for the girls to set the tone for the future of the show. That's why the theme of the reunion, the placement of all the housewives, and the segments that they bring up are all very calculated to give the fans the best show and possibly a reason to actually go back and watch the episodes from the season, and of course, to hopefully give them a reason to tune in for the next season. It's so annoying that a person will get on a platform to millions of people and say I don't help people. 
With that being said, as interest in the Real Housewives franchise has continued to drastically drop over the last several years, Bravo has been shaking things up pretty drastically. And last year, after the reunion, we saw the biggest shakeup ever, with Bravo dropping two heavy hitters at one time, leaving the cast having a lot to prove. And yes, I've already made two videos explaining my issues with this reunion situation, and particularly how it might possibly affect Candy Burris and her future on the show. So be sure to go ahead and check out those videos after you finish this one if you're looking for a full explanation of what I think is going on. But in this video, I just want to say that I understand that this is not the first time that Candy has been seated in the front of the show seats. But as I explained to this binge watcher, the stakes have changed drastically. Candy wasn't the housewife with the highest tenure seasons two, four, or season eight. And she also didn't have that much to prove for season 13 at the reunion, since the reunion theme that year was based off her dungeon shenanigans. And for me, that substitutes being in the throne chairs. So correct, this was not Candy's first time sitting on the end at the reunion. I just don't want it to be Candy's last time sitting at the end for the reunion. Huh? My worry is that as the network continues to get more desperate to turn things around, now more than ever, we're starting to see them do weird things like bringing Apollo back to bash Phaedra, which gets us talking about Phaedra, which makes people want more Phaedra, and giving Marlo a peach now and sitting her in the throne chairs in everybody's face. It's just really starting to show you what they truly find valuable and entertaining. And if you guys don't get that, girl, never mind, because <laughs> like, I don't even think we watch the same show. Again, if you guys want my full rundown, be sure to go and check both of those videos out. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Are you looking forward to The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 reunion that is airing really soon? And be sure to let me know your thoughts about whether or not it's time for Candy Burris to leave the show. Just think about that for a minute. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you're one of those people that only found my channel because you were looking for the trailer, be sure to subscribe right now to Bingeworthy and catch up on all things Real Housewives of Atlanta. We love it here. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I will see y'all on the next one. Hey, please don't play no games with me. I promise I'm too much. Hey, I can never let up even if you had enough. Hey, this ain't for the faint of heart. We always playing rough. I had enough. It ain't luck. I needed a vision. I needed ambition. I needed a mission to be the submission with knowing the mission. I see the collision. The crash in the distance ain't coming off track. No. Sick again. Sick again.